matrix of a symmetry element sigma 1 of an equilateral triangle. Here we have an equilateral triangle whose one of the sides is a long axis and one vertex is at origin. The length of each side is r, the coordinates are 0, 0, r0 and the third one are r cos 60, r sin 60. Now we will find a matrix ABC that transform R0 to R cos 60 and R sin 60. And R cos 60 and R sin 60 on R0. That is, we need a triangle, a matrix ABCD that operates on R0 and gives us R cos 60 in R sin 60. Multiplying the matrices on the left hand side and equating to the element in right triangle. The first equation is AR equals R cos 60. This gives you A equals cos 60. The second equation when you multiply the matrices is CR equals R sin 60. So C is equal to sin 60. Now we have found two of the elements of the triangle, deflection triangle, A and C. We will find B and D by considering the operation of the matrix A, B, C, D on the other coordinate R cos 60 and the operation gives us the, sec the first one R0. Multiplying the matrices on the left hand side A R cos 60 plus B R sin 60 equals R, R is common. So and A equals cos 60. If you put the value of A, A and cancel R, you get cos square 60 plus B sin 60 equals 1 and B sin 60 is equal to 1 minus cos square 60 which is equal to sin square 60 and 1 sin 60 will cancel out and B will be sin 60. Now consider the second equation C R cos 60 plus D R sin 60 equals to 0 and R is common so uh, B and we will substitute the value of C equal to sin 60 that gives you uh, sin 60 cos 60 plus D sin 60 equals 0 and finally D is equal to cos 60 degree. Now we have found all elements of the reflection matrix A, B, C, D which are cos 60, cos sin 60, sin 60 and minus cos 60. Putting the values of cos 60, sin 60, we get the following matrix. So this is the reflection matrix sigma 1. Similarly, we can find the matrices sigma 2 and sigma 3.